opportunity for re-election. And thank you, members of the State Central Committee, to serve as the chairman for the last 10 months. I'd also like to thank Bill Schickel for his service to our party in the capacity as co-chairman and as a fellow member of the Old Fourth Congressional District with myself and Bruce. Um, I know that regardless of who wins this race today, uh, the Republican Party of Iowa will have a dedicated Republican who's committed to the success of our party. By now, I've had the opportunity to reach out to each of you and outline my vision for the Republican Party of Iowa over the next two years. I've detailed what I believe are my strengths and perhaps some areas that I need to improve on. Above all, I want to get feedback from you and seek your guidance and support in crafting an even stronger and more dynamic Republican Party of Iowa. I'm running for re-election as state chairman because I believe in the principles of the Republican Party of Iowa. I believe not just in what the structure can do to help candidates, but I believe in our platform. In 2012, we placed a very strong emphasis on the Victory Program here, facilitating those efforts as opposed to focusing exclusively on fundraising solely for RBI. We were able to manage more than $5 million of Victory Program budget that was exclusively for Iowa's efforts. We raised over $600,000 in 2012 for RPI while managing more than $5 million of the Victory Program for our candidates. We had record early and absentee voting in the state of Iowa among Republicans. We knocked on more doors and made more phone calls than we ever have in the history of Republicans in Iowa. And I'm proud that for the first time in recent history, we wrote a check and we supported every Republican on the ticket uh, for Iowa House and Iowa Senate, showing them that we support every single one of them running for office. I spoke at countless county fundraisers this year and attended several candidate fundraisers. And in the months of September and October alone, I put over 10,000 miles on my car. At the caucus review, recommendations as they come out of the organization committee, I look forward to implementing whatever policies this board directs the chairman to implement. We currently have over $400,000 in the bank that is exclusively Republican Party of Iowa State Central Committee money. It has been falsely reported by some that major <coughs> portions of this money is either legislative campaign committee money House or Senate, or victory money. That is not accurate. Over $400,000 is Republican Party of Iowa State Central Committee money. It is important to note that the money we have in our building fund, which is over $100,000, can be used to pay for some of the bills of this building uh, that are provided under FEC regulation and under Iowa Code. I also have revamped our website and quadrupled the number of Facebook likes, growing our audience to young voters. I've restarted the consistent fundraising appeals through direct mail and telemarketing, as well as online fundraising. In 2013, we will see even greater success with a dedicated direct mail program, consistent events, and a number of online promotions geared at increasing donations collecting data, and building a strong party structure in anticipation of 2014 and beyond. Direct mail letters were sent out on September 20th, signed by Reince Priebus, and October 18th, signed by Governor Branstad. Our first telemarketing fundraising appeal this year occurred October 15th. Despite some of the unfounded criticism being levied, leveled, I've worked very closely with Republicans of all philosophies within the party. Mitt Romney's Iowa co-chairman was the MC at our fall Reagan dinner. Senator Ted Cruz and Congressman Ron Paul were featured speakers at breakfast fundraisers in Tampa. Senator Chuck Grassley in November agreed to be the state party's honorary finance chairman. Reince Priebus has spoken and signed letters on behalf of the party. Governor Branstead has spoken at our events and signed fundraising letters. 
and Bob Vanderplatz was included as a guest at our regular dinner to speak on behalf of, of uh, removing activist judges. Despite claims to the contrary, I have a proven track record of working with many groups within the party. While snipers will complain that the current back, uh, back to trailing the Democrats in voter registration numbers um, is, is a problem, the fact is, had it not been for the fact that we overtook them this year, we wouldn't be back to trailing them. So for the first time in six years, this state central committee presided over an increase in voter registration. This summer and fall was the first time in that six years. And this was due to the tremendous accomplishments of many grassroots activists as well as many hardworking candidates in Iowa. I've placed a tremendous focus as chairman on cutting costs, eliminating waste, and reducing overhead. We've visited with other state parties and talked about being more efficient and streamlining the party, making it more lean and customizable. Above all the goals and successes of 2012, it's been a joint effort between all of us on the State Central Committee. I appreciate the support many of you have shown me, and I look forward to working with you in the future. It's my desire to have State Central Committee members as engaged as they want to be. So as you engage in helping with events, I look forward to working with you. Now perhaps even more telling uh, than what I believe in standing for is possibly a brief description of what I stand against. I believe that the role of the party chairman should not be only to increase the energy and success of our party, but to also stand for the principles of our party when it comes to the philosophy. I've told you what I am, now let me tell you what I am not. I am not a state party chairman whose intention is to walk the party line if it means tossing our grassroots activists aside and disregarding their hard work. I'm not a chairman who believes we should shy away from the principles of a pro-life message or strong family values and I will never apologize for social conservatism. I not only work with candidates whom I personally agree with, but I've worked with people of all different backgrounds as candidates. And I believe, as a big tent, we will have a broad group of candidates. As you decide who to support in this election for state chairman, I urge you to keep in mind just exactly what you're voting for. You're voting not only for a candidate who should have the wherewithal to work alongside the RNC and our county leaders, but you're voting for a chairman and team that will shape the direction of the Republican Party. Just as I do not apologize for state taking a stand against activist judges, supporting pro-life values, cutting taxes and spending, I pledge to never <coughs> show my responsibility to this committee and, and to be a good steward of the contributions made by many grassroots activists. I am confident that together, we can continue the success we've seen and ensure the Republican Party works hard to further the goals in our platform and to elect Republicans.